Hi, welcome to your regular Wednesday Helium Hotspot All Vendors Update. In today's video, we'll be looking at what's happening with all Helium Hotspot vendors and we will look at the results of the Helium Oversight Committee and see what they have determined and whether or not there are more vendors that we could look forward to that are ready to enter the market. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Hey everyone, Crypto Layman here. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you're new around here, I wholeheartedly welcome you to our little community. A couple of things before I start this video update. First of all, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so you receive regular notifications when I post these videos. Secondly, I want to invite you once again to our Layman's Corner, the Discord channel. I am holding a 5 HT giveaway on the 2nd of August. You will find the link for the server below the description. Once you enter the Layman's Corner server, please head over to the verification channel and click on the green button here to verify that you are indeed a human being and not a robot. Secondly, go into the giveaways channel, which is located here in the menu. Once you go there, make sure you click on this bouquet of flowers. So once you click on there, that should count you in and the counter should move up to 153. So that is the way you enter this draw. All of that out of the way, let's finally get into this video and talk about our very first Helium hotspot vendor, which is Rack. Rack normally posts a new update as to what's occurring in terms of shipping on every Wednesday. As of the last update, Thursday, they posted an update saying that they are still shipping the monkey batch, and that was pretty much it. We will next move on to curling, and as you can probably see, we had just had a message from B Duffers. Um, I asked him if there are any shipping updates and he's just got back to me saying that he's unfortunately on holiday and he does not know. So I wish him a, a great holiday. Sorry to stress you out with my message if that was the case, but I honestly don't know who else to contact. So next we'll look at SenseCap. As some of you know, SenseCap held their own first sale of the EU devices yesterday. The process was rather cumbersome that you had to go and purchase a coupon using H&T tokens from one website and then you had to go and complete the purchase on a different website on the Seed Studio website where you then had to apply that coupon which qualified you for the purchase and then allowed you to check out. Initially there were issues in relation to people joining the queue or to purchase these coupons. I know some of us got in and they were fortunate enough to get these coupons and purchase these devices. However the experience itself wasn't great. It took me a good part of four hours to complete a purchase and to get a confirmation email. Now due to that the SenseCap and the Seed Studios team made an announcement and they have suspended their US units sale for now. So if you want to buy a US frequency, you cannot do that straight through their website because they are currently trying to improve the infrastructure and trying to avoid the issues that people had yesterday. As and when things develop and there is a new update in terms of a time and date for the US unit sale, I will bring that to you. Once again, make sure that in order to receive that notification, you have subscribed to the channel and you press that bell icon. Now, let's move on to our next vendor. Now the next vendor we're going to look at is Nebra. Just to give you an update in relation to my cancellation and refund request, it has been processed and I have received a refund into my Amazon Pay account. In terms of shipping, uh, unfortunately, there hasn't been much that has been said since the update they made last. So as you can see here, everything is supposed to be shipping either in July or towards the end of July. Unfortunately, none of that is true. There are emails circulating around that batch 3 is likely to ship in August and batch 4 we just simply don't know. That being said, those are the emails that Nebra's staff are sending out. However, people like AJ Shaw somehow seem to be adamant that that is not the case and they are still on schedule for 17,000 units. Now, enough said about Nebra. Let's move on to Bobcat. Now, Bobcat... 
as usual on friday they announced batch 13 details and that was was a rather small batch but that is something they already informed us about but they nevertheless have continued to ship a batch a week regardless of how large or how small this batch has been i am quite intrigued to see what they announced this week because i'm just eager to see whether or not they will announce the next batch or whether they will now announce a batch every two weeks so i will let you know as and when things happen uh, again if you want to find out more make sure you check my friday update which usually covers the bobcat shipping update they have been working on improving the software on their devices and one thing i can report is the synchronizing time has been drastically reduced so from what we were seeing previously from taking up to 72 hours in some cases even longer the bobcat synchronizes fairly quickly because in one of the recent updates they have switched the bobcat to a follow mode so it rather than writing the entire ledger it just follows the ledger now we'll look at long ap and unfortunately there's not a great deal that's happened with long ap again the last update or the announcement they made was that the last remaining long ap device had left their office and they were now going to concentrate on the long ap pro which is the outdoor device and the long ap light which is the light hotspot version again no further developments had have, have been made and no further announcements have been made in relation to what's going on so there is very limited that i can tell you about long op at this moment in time now let's move on to our next vendor which is another problem child and that is synchrobit now surprise surprise synchrobit have posted an update yesterday and they have said that they are really struggling with the infrastructure and one of their members of staff george who is in romania is personally overseeing the setup of a new dedicated warehouse for europe for order fulfillment as well as the repair and support center now what strikes me as a little bit strange is that we already knew that there was a warehouse in europe that was being managed by george so what exactly has changed there as of now all january and february orders have either been delivered or are in transit and the remaining units that will cover early march orders are scheduled to be fulfilled and shipped by the end of this week that was for the european unit now let's look at um, the north american fulfillment for synchrobit units arrived in kentucky on friday july the 23rd and are being tested extensively to ensure 100 percent quality is in our first north american batch they're anticipating that the shipping of these first units would have gone out the door today one more thing i keep getting asked the same question again and again about the credibility of sp north america and about updates in relation to them so just to let you know that sp north america are a distributor for synchrobit so obviously once the units have arrived in kentucky in the warehouse and they have all been opened and tested and then closed back and packaged the units ordered by sp north america will then be finally shipped to sp north america who will presumably reopen those packets retest them for quality assurance make sure that everything is hunky dory or at the very least if not already put their own labels and stickers on on the devices then repackage them and then send them out finally to the next customers so the the process is very cumbersome and sp north america although not directly responsible for the shipping etc are being dragged down by synchrobits underperformance and their incompetence so that is what's happening at sp north america i hope that answers the question right the next window we'll look at is linkstot and i can confirm that is now helium approved so as you can see here they published this on their website and that has been confirmed by helium as well on their latest documents so they are now fully helium approved for their devices and they already have the fcc and ce certification that they require so they are absolutely ready to launch the sale so linkstar are saying that over the next few days they will complete their maker account and other steps for onboarding and integration and they are going to be pushing full steam ahead for procurement of remaining components some components they have already ordered so that they can start manufacturing very soon 
so the next vendor we look at is a Pisces Miner, and I can confirm that the Pisces Miner has been partially approved by the Helium Oversight Committee, namely only the outdoor device has been approved for Europe only. I am quite surprised they haven't actually tweeted about that at all, and that news has not been published and confirmed. However, I can tell you that that is the case because I, that has been reflected on the Helium official documentation. So that is it for Pisces Miners. So another vendor that has been approved today by the Helium Oversight Committee is called Cotex or Cotex. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. That uh, appears to be a Chinese company and they are already manufacturers of uh, LoRa and IoT devices. And they have been approved for manufacturing for the helium devices now the plan is that they are going to be deploying the helium compatible software on their current cotex x series and in particular it's going to be the cotex x3 but at this moment in time they are only going to be selling in china and europe because they're still pending fcc certification so as and when they announce more details i will let you know how things develop so that's it in terms of the new vendors that are entering the market so it's three of them so if you're interested in following those i will be keeping you up to date on those as well so i will include these in our regular updates from now on so that's it for me thank you very much for tuning in once again thank you for all your support you look after yourselves i will speak to you soon